What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back to you today with more Dokkan Battle, and I want to showcase a little run that I did earlier today, uh, and this was mainly to showcase the abilities of uh, Physical VP, and I actually really love this EZA, so as much as I was criticizing the other EZA, uh, the one that includes Trollhan and all those other units that come from the new Extreme Z Arena, I love this dude, and we never really got a chance to damage test him and show what he's actually capable of, so... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a Super Battle Road Run. And we're going to talk about what he actually does here and how much of an asset he really is. Now, this is the Realm of Gods run. Uh, I really feel like Pataro wasn't a good fit for him. Um, only because Pataro is almost like too easy with half the units we have. So, it just didn't feel like a good fit. I want to do Realm of Gods because Realm of Gods is still... I would, I would say it's a little bit on the harder side of these events because there's some units in here that aren't really optimal i'd say for sbr all right so notice that wasn't a crit that was annoyingly and we got a third super attack okay not a crit now this dude is capable of up to four super attacks and each one of these retaliation hits are i mean coming in seriously clutch right Half a mil on a retaliation to a a super battle road unit, b one that doesn't have type you know like he doesn't have type advantage against. So it is a very very handy unit. Okay, now this is unfortunate uh, situation. Um, now the nice part is I will go ahead and say I am running a uh, Zamasu lead and a UI Goku lead. The reason I'm doing that is because I find that two UI Gokus is really kind of optimum, though with Zamasu does give you a little bit more attack power, so it kind of offsets that. Um, the rest of the team, of course, I'm running, as you saw before, here's the AGL Zamasu. So one of these is my lead, the other one is my unit, and then AGL Zamasu is my lead. Uh, mostly he couldn't, couldn't find another AGL Zamasu, but also because, well... Having those two UI Gokus is handy. Now, obviously, we're low on health. Uh, you're not going to get a, a no items run out of this team, at least. Uh, it's It might be possible, but I found it extremely difficult to manage. So, I'm just planning here. The main thing that I'm going to be doing in this is trying to build the uh, the Dokkan bar a little bit. And you see me try to get, you know, like, I probably overstock myself on, on type key, but you know, all that, those physical orbs are going to help out, uh, VB immensely, immensely. Uh, and I do know that UI Goku does do a lot of dodging, but when your health was as low as I, as it was when I came in here, there's no part of you that should ever go, you know what? I'm going to wager it all on the dodge. We got absolutely trashed in that last one with those with that super attack so but you'll notice we're taking dudes out quick and i mean but quick having those extra attacks with vb is going to come in clutch later on in this it really really is i i can't even tell you how absolutely amazing he is now if goku had gotten an essay there we would oh there you go see that's what i'm talking about once you get this the UI transformation, he is absolutely awesome. Now, I am running uh, the Tech Godku, and the reason I'm doing that is because he seals, uh, but also he does rainbow orb changing, so it's going to help us kind of even out some of those uh, key problems we would otherwise be having. And uh, here, I'm kind of like debating, do I do I overstock orbs? And I can't think the answer is just yes, let's overstock orbs anyway, and try to take some units out. Now, we could take out Videl, but if I'm honest, Videl's going to attack VB. So if I target him, then he's going to be targeting um, Devil Man, and I really want to take out old boy here. I can't remember his name, but you know <laughs> this uh, this Epo looking fucker. So and she dead, she gone. Okay, not quite half a mil on him, but that's all right. There we go. And honestly, a lot of times that that half mil is just because we dropped their defenses so drastically, absolutely drastically. All right. He did. I absolutely cannot get enough of physical VB. I really cannot. Now, the only downside is, and the one thing that annoyed me about this run is I oftentimes do not either get enough super attacks out of him or he just doesn't do all of his attacks. Now, he can get up to four attacks, 
but he's not guaranteed to get four attacks. That's the only thing that stinks. Um, now, uh, when it comes to, oh boy, uh, the nice part is every time he attacks, he's rolling for that fourth attack because I put a lot of additional into him. Now, I did kind of, and I'll go ahead and admit it, I did kind of reel back on that one. I added, I took one additional way and gave him crit eventually. It did cost me 10 Dragonstones. And if I'm completely honest, I'm going to do his, rebuild his, uh, his, um, potential system take one more additional way and give him one more crit because he just doesn't crit often enough in my opinion and he additionals all the time i love it um i wish this run was a little more indicative of what i normally see out of him but at the same rate he still is an absolute asset here so i cannot cannot be mad about what he's doing all right so as you can see this is not an optimum situation uh and yes i do know that uh, the AGL unit, he tanks a little bit, but not enough, and they've got a lot of dodge in them, so it really isn't going to be, it really, it's it's kind of six one half tons the other, because if I put him in the front there, and uh, Mutaito essays, we're, we're dead, we're just, we're just done, so I've got a lot of AGL attacking on that turn, so putting the tech unit there just kind of made sense. But we've got to drop an item either way. Like, there's just, that's the only way. See? We'd have been dead here. That would have been it. Uh, even with... Even with the 40% reduction and with a... Um, uh, yeah, a King Yama in play, that would have been a rip run. So, nah. I ain't playing that game. I am not playing that game one bit. Now, you, you will see that I, I kind of... I'm a little liberal with my items here. Only because the, I wanted this to be a successful run more than, like, a flashy, like, no items run. Um, this just was mostly to show off VB, though. I would say the rest of the team is doing a pretty stellar job, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I do really like this team. Uh, the only unit on here that I think really never showed his true worth was Beerus. That, that tech Beerus, as much as I used to think he was just kind of a crap unit, um, and he was... After he gets his EZA, he actually comes alive in a lot of really great ways. All right. So remember, uh, physical VB, he's actually, I think I said tech VB a minute ago. Physical VB is, uh, he's going to get retaliation based on how many hits he's taking. But when we have that strength unit in the front, I'm not so keen on just, you know, letting him take that damage. Because if he gets super attacked, he's just sitting on the cold. His, his attack reduction is only on normal attacks. So I'm probably going to keep UI there in the front because UI is going to have all that dodge. It's just a better maneuver. Plus with the heal and all that, mm, kind of makes sense. So we're going to keep UI in the front. We're going to put Fizz VB right here. Let him get all that retaliation. And then we're going to let Tech try to seal at the very end here because Tech does seal. It's very, very nice. Okay. So I don't remember which color orbs we take, but I think we take Tech actually, which was a mistake. I probably should have taken... Uh, the strength, but let's just see here. There we go. Oh no, I took those. Never mind. I don't even remember my own run. <laughs> and of course, obviously, you want on color because you want to build that Dokkan bar as fast as possible. Um, preferably, and I'll be completely honest here, preferably you'd rather have the Dokkan bar on the first run of that third uh, rotation. Because with that, obviously, you're taking out that whole line of units there in that last one. In one go, or at least you're not taking him out, obviously, but you're definitely, definitely, definitely doing him a whole lot of damage in a very short amount of time. So, here we go. So, building that Dokkan bar is good, but you want to be a little cognizant about how quickly you're doing it. So, we got a second SA. Very nice, and we got a crit on that, so awesome. We did not get a third, we did not get a third SA, we only got a third regular attack. If I counted that right. I was only, um, be real, I was only half paying attention. But I absolutely love, like, like, you can see here, he's just cleaning up. Dude is just absolutely cleaning up. If he had gotten all of his essays and a crit on each essay, we'd, I won't say we'd been done, but we would have had a few problems in this world, okay? Now, Roshi is a problem child for me. Um, Roshi is now, uh, he is now sealed. Um, Probably could have sealed someone else, but I think it was at that point in time more most imperative to seal him because uh, I don't think he had S even essayed yet. So keeping him from essaying would be a very, very, very wise thing. Okay. Uh, once again, Mutaito being on that first rotation is gonna be awesome. 
Now, we did get the uh, the fusion of Zamasu here. He now does key plus two, attack 120%, reduces damage by 40%, which he did before, and recovers 10% of HP when 80% or less. And that's going to be kind of nice. Because um, we already get heal with them, so now having heal with him is going to make these a lot better. So if you know the biggest drawback to uh, Realm of Gods is you, you just don't get the healing like you do in a lot of other teams, especially now. So this is a one way you can kind of offset that. The problem is, is getting his... It sometimes takes a while to get his uh, his transformations. So. And you'll see later that Beerus actually has a way that he can help out too. But we kind of bleed items a little bit. We, we take essays a little bit too quickly and bleed items a little too quickly for Beerus really to show his worth. But it's a thing, you know. So once again, my, my goal here was to show... Physical VB, not not Tech Beerus. Alright. So, wrecked him. Didn't get a crit, though. If we'd had a crit, that would have been the end of him. And Beerus wrecked him. Now we're down to one dude. Now, the big thing here is, my goal now is to build the SA gauge. Build the, build the Dokkan gauge, I'm sorry. Uh, but I want to make sure that I have that Dokkan bar early in the next run, and it's a little low if I'm honest, so and we're not getting the color of orbs we need, so RNG definitely, definitely, definitely not in our favor here. Alright. And we're about to kill him, and there's really not much of a way around this. Like, we were going to kill him on that turn. End of story. Uh, and that's the rotation I really want at the beginning of the next one, uh, but I also want, want to get Fizz VB. I want I want him to have the Dokkan gauge. So, unfortunately, we're gonna bleed another item here. Um, we got a lot going on here, and I really feel like, well, the healing's clutch, the tanking not so much, and I think Ghost Ushering is the best thing we can do here. I really think it is. Um, now, the absolute best thing we can do here is uh, seal that uh, that Ten Shinhan. If we can get Ten Shinhan sealed, psh, that'd be the best. Um, Godku should be able to take care of it, take care of that, uh, and pretty much everyone else is just kind of do what they do. Now, we're not getting a U Super here, and that's fine. Uh, now it's time to start really planning and saying, okay, what do we need for the next turn? What are those units that we're bringing up going to need? Because we're going to have this Dokkan bar filled on the next turn one way or the other so yeah you got to have a little bit of foresight here there we go and while this isn't the best way to do this this actually is probably one of the better ways because um once again ghost ushering out of the situation we're not gonna be taking damage we're just kind of wearing down you know the first dude in the rotation who's the strongest and usually the biggest pain in the posterior there we go and Chiaotzu is sealed. Why did I target Chiaotzu? I completely should have target, targeted Tenshin, huh? That, I think, was a mistake. I think that was an accident. I think I meant, meant to do that, if I'm honest. Why would I have done that? Anyway. Now, because I want FizzVB to get uh, Dokkan Bar, uh, and I made that drastic mistake of, for whatever reason, Chiaotzu? Why would I have... That doesn't make any sense. It must have been a mistake. I must have nudged an accident or something. But in this situation, getting uh, Ten Shinhan uh, sealed would have been the best situation. And then we wouldn't have had to drop the King Yama unit. But it is what it is. And the best part is here. Now we got Dokkan Bar. Let's see what he do. So first off, not the best hit, but it's a hit. Boom! Got a crit on that one. Now, will we nail it? One, two, three, four, five, six! Nail it! Boom! And let's see what he do. Let's see what old boy do here. Alright, so we've got Dokkan Bar. Can we get a crit on top of it? We did not get a crit, but we hit for one mil to everybody. Now, the only thing that really is unfortunate here, all three other hits were not super attacks. If they had been super attacks, granted they wouldn't have been AoEs, but if they had been super attacks, 
we would have cleaned house very quickly. And if they'd been super tracks with crits, that kind of would have been a rip run right there. Like, I mean, not a rip run on my part, but a rip run on their part. That would have been like, we done here. Good day. I will just come through, wreck everything, and walk out the door. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. But if you can imagine how much damage he would have done with the Dokkan bar full and all four of those super attacks, even all four of those super attacks with two or three crits, it just, it was just an RNG fail. And I'm so disappointed in that. But to be, if I'm real, it's kind of the best run I've had thus far. So we're not, well, yeah, it is the best run I've recorded so far. And I wanted to bring you guys something fun to show you to really talk about Fizz VB. So I won't say that's the end of the run, but that is pretty much the end of what I really wanted to gush about because the potential was all there. Just the RNG fell in its face, but I really, and, and it, uh, if I'm honest, even though I'm kind of derping here and th you know, uh, messing with orbs and not really speed running it per se, this is still my fastest run I've ever had on this. So, Thus far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with him. I know that this isn't the greatest showcase of him, but it's what I've been able to, uh, to produce thus far. And if you are fully convinced after this video that VizVB is a monster and just an amazing unit for SBR, I don't know how else I'm going to convince you. Because dude is absolutely... Didn't we just kill him? Hold up. Dude is dead. That... That... shut. Dude, that, that hit should have wrecked him. I forgot about this. I forgot entirely about that. I was so disappointed. That's just proof that the RNG was just out to get me on this run. Um, so, fun stuff, though. You can kind of see now, like, yes, we are down in health. Yes, I'm going to have to drop a Senzu. I wouldn't have had to if Ten Shin Hunt would have just gracefully passed away. The RNG gods absolutely were out to screw this run. Oh my goodness. Um, but fun stuff here, guys. Fun stuff. So we drop a sensor. I mean, we still we, we still use scrub level items, you know, we use, just use basic items. We're not using anything special. So I can't be too mad, but uh I'm a wee bit salty if I'm completely honest here. Uh but I do think I think if I recollect, I think this is the last uh last turn. I mean it would make sense. There's not really much further you can kinda go with this. Uh, got UI Goku. He's just gonna wreck, wreck house, dodge it. Well, and he's got type advantage too uh, against uh, Yamcha. So, you know, let's just clean it up here. Once again, FizzVB should have gotten a. Uh, he didn't even get a second attack there, did he? Man, the RNG guy, the RNG gods were really out to screw me over this time around, weren't they? Ah. <sighs> It's proof that sometimes, like, even though you have a really amazing setup, sometimes the RNG is just like, nah, fam, this ain't happening. All right, this is the first instance of Beerus's like, hidden power on this team, and I absolutely love this. Uh, it's Rage mode is basically like the Ozaru mode. He's not taking damage. He's not going to be um, really a, a worry here, and everything's an SA with him. It's just what level of SA is it going to be? So, and as you can see, with... With the amount that we have left on this, it's just hilarious. There we go. And, I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind here that, that Krillin's done. Like, it, even as I was running it, I was like, this is this is just it. <laughs> he's, he's not making it out of rage mode. Bye 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 Not the strongest hits, if I'm honest. Not the strongest hits, but definitely. So that's... Super Battle Road, Realm of Gods with Physical VB. And one of the, the I would say the harder ones, but one of the ones that, you know, don't have a lot of heals and that, you know, like you can't take the Kamehameha team on because let's face, face it, Kamehameha team wrecks house. Um, so one of the ones that's a little on the more difficult side still, you don't have like a lot of the, the, the cheapo cheat units and all that stuff that you can use on it. So I thought that was... A pretty respectable run, but let me know what y'all thought in the comments section down below. I was entertained, even if the RNG was definitely not there. But I think there's no doubt FizzBB is absolutely stellar and a complete monster. And you can kind of see there, 
if we had had the runs exactly as we needed them, it would have been perfect. So that's it. Guys, that's my best run. <laughs> Shamefully, that's my best run yet. So there's the team, guys. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments section down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow my Birdman. Hit me up a book or I'll be back at you guys with more. It, it, it replayed <laughs> a little bit. <laughs>